How's it going, Bears? Welcome back to Scouts. And of course, I'm your den leader, Sheldon. Let's get ready for our meeting by doing our Pledge of Allegiance. The Scout Oath and Scout Law. I'm going to land this thing. All right. Scout Salute. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two, please join me in the scout sign and repeat the scout oath. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Please join me in the scout law. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Two. Hey Bears, today in our Duty to God segment, we're gonna talk about a person of faith we admire. And I have my friends at the Coronado Council over in Kansas talk about a person of faith they admire. So let's go see. George, let's talk about someone whose faith you have admired. You know, there are a lot of people that um, uh, have a strong faith that I admire. I think of an older lady that has attended our church uh, in about a month here. She's going to be 101 years old. And she attended church for a long time, and she's uh, taught Sunday school, and uh, I really, I admire her. Uh, I admire my wife. She's very loyal in her faith, uh, prays and has a quiet time every day uh, with scouts, perhaps their parents. They have a parent particularly that models their uh, religious beliefs. So these could be someone that uh, they see as a role model for their beliefs. Thank you, George, for talking to us about our duty to God for the Bears. Thank you so much, Coronado Council, for talking to us about someone you admire in your faith. That was so interesting, wasn't it, Bears? Now, Bears, that got me really thinking. What about people in our council and the people at our office? Let's go ask them about a person of faith they admire. Come on with me. All right, Scouts, we're going to go around the office and we're going to talk about to different people a persons of faith that they admire. First, we have our good friend Melissa, and she's going to talk about somebody she admires of faith. So I really admire Martin Luther King Jr. because I think, you know, with the race relations as tense as they were, and I think we can even see that today, it's easy to get upset and let that anger very much make you mad and want to be destructive and destroy stuff. But instead, I think it takes a lot of um, patience and faith in you know, a higher calling to be quiet and make your presence known. It's kind of like that old expression, you know, actions speak louder than words. And I think by being patient and being quiet, like the sit-ins that they would do at different, you know, diners and just sit there was a lot stronger than anything they ever could have said and a, a lot stronger than any violence they could have ever caused. All right, now I have a new friend to talk to us. His name is Aaron and he's going to talk to us about a person of faith that he admires. Let's find out. The person of faith that I admire most is Desmond Tutu, who is an Anglican bishop in um, uh, South Africa and his work was around apartheid or race relations similar to Martin Luther King's work uh, except in South Africa uh, and bringing equality to uh, other people that lived there. He uh, did a lot of work around reconciliation and created these commissions or groups of people that would, um, would gather to um, have 
significant conversations about what it means to be forgiven and what it means to forgive. Um, one of my favorite little quotes of his is he talks about how each of us carries a piece of God's heart inside of us. And when we love one another, we are all made whole and God's heart is made whole. All right, Scouts, the next person we're going to talk to is Drew. Um, a person of faith that I really admire is uh, the Buddha. He was, um, his name is Siddhartha. He was born an Indian prince and uh, he gave up a, a life of luxury to follow his, his um, spiritual desires. He sat under a tree and fasted for a long time and achieved enlightenment and founded the Buddhist faith. All right, Scouts, we have another person, and his name is Ben. He's going to talk about somebody in his faith he admires. So for me, because I'm a Catholic, one of the people that I admire is our current Pope, and his name's Pope Francis. He's actually from Argentina, and he's the leader of the whole Roman Catholic Church, and he's actually the 266th Pope that we've had. So I really find it very uh, moving with some of the things that he does and being able to represent the entire Roman Catholic Church, especially as big as they are. Well, Bears, thank you so much for joining me today. We learned so much about people of faith we admire and why we admire each one of those people. It's so interesting to see our people about outside of our council and in our council about how we admire sometimes the same and sometimes different people. Thanks for joining me today and catch us for our next December meeting where we talk about our diversity award. Should be interesting. All right, thank you, Bears. Remember, always to be awesome. Bye.